junkin' pool here again on this wonderful winterly day. Been moving a few things around. Okay. So we moved the car, we squeezed it through here. Moved the barrel a two foot, one of the barrels that was in there. This has got to go through yet. Gonna clean this whole area up. Yeah, right. So I say to myself. I've been mostly moving stuff today. So I moved the car over here. No brakes on it, so it goes downhill, but it stopped. Had a flat tire which helped slow it down. Good thing I didn't change it before I moved it. This project's gonna be a while before we get around to it. I may as well go over this way. Build a couple of the mud holes out here. Missed one. So took the back one, set this thing up on here. Now it's time to start loading this up. We'll have a nice load. We got a lot, a lot around here. And I'll take a stroll out back. It's snowing. I just come in for a coffee and I thought I'd do a video first. This is the Junkin' Pool from Poorville. Another little sewing machine I can throw in that load. You just shut the back hole down. This is a little tricky. Move this forklift. Don't run. Well, well run. Just ain't got to it. Starter or flywheel or both issues. You gotta pull the motor out to get to the flywheel. It actually looks good though. So this is deer season. I hear some shooting duck. So I'll wear my brown coat out. So yeah, I opened this driveway up right here. So the plan is I can back up here to my steel pile, and get the shear and get the cutting on it. These tires I'll be shearing up. This here, I think I'm gonna set my baler on it out here. And go through the aluminum and stuff that I've already sheared up. And there's some two foot over there, three foot. Still a couple appliances out here. Yeah, that was really kind of annoying that thing. So I thought I better move that, that forklift. I had my driveway all blocked here. And I like to be able to circle right around. That's the way I got it set up so I could circle all the way around and go off this way. Or... This is some stuff I threw out the other day that I can shear up. And I rolled that big old cement thing there out of the way. That thing is definitely heavy. I got a few of them around. They come out. They were hooked into a trailer down the road and I had one on that fork with there trying to get the outrigger had it chained on there trying to get a hammer outrigger out on that big old truck up there and it just bent the I-beam. The I-beam's laying down there. It just bent it. So I gotta weld two of them together or something. Pretty well stuck. Well for anybody that don't know, these golf clubs I haven't checked, but a lot of times these are stainless steel or brass. And a lot of times they're just steel. So I just throw them in a tin. But I usually, if they're brass or stainless, and I think some of them are actually aluminum. I can't really remember for sure. That piece I thought I might have needed. Just dug that big old ballast out of the dirt over there. 
Not sure what them are paying a pound now. Yeah, it won't take much and I can circle right around here. That'll make it nice. Especially when I get to doing this two foot. It gets kind of narrow up in here. And before the ground freeze froze, I wanted to get a couple scoops of sand out of here. I took one over to the neighbors, filled a spot over there they didn't want it filled. Put a couple in my driveway. There's an old sealed unit right there. Good place for it for right now. Rim from those two foot. Take the lead off it and the bell stem. better getting that forklift out of the way. I wish I could get it up by the garage. I'd like to pull the motor out of it. This right here. This is, this is probably full of money. No. I'm not sure what that is. Some electrical schematics for this thing looks like. Get all the Copper cut out of this one day's. I don't worry about getting every little piece. That's time consuming. If you waste an hour trying to get 50 cents worth of copper out of there, it kind of defeats the whole purpose. That street, or that sweeper there, that was self propelled. That's got a couple motors. They had a bunch of batteries. I took them out of there. There's another electric motor I could have four. I took that one up. Another electric motor there. So 15 cents a pound, they're worth pulling off. I mean, even 12 cents a pound, but they're 15 cents. So time, probably trying to get some of these, more of these together and take them in. Appreciate the people watching and subscribing and the thumbs up. Now we got the driveway open and starting to figure the the videos out here can do some longer ones. There's a nice piece of two foot I'll have to throw on the load. What I'm basically trying to do right now is just load the stuff that's already ready to go in. Get that out of the way. Because we get nice days through the winter and I come out here and work. Not sure what that thing is. Looks like it's aluminum of some kind. Aluminum and snowmobile, there ain't no motor on it. trailer out here. I'd like to if I can get this wheelbarrow out of there. I don't know. I wanted to take that snow blower down there where I had the back of out, but I figured I better get some more cleaning up and done first. Let's see here. Nope. Might be a job for when I don't have the camera in my hand. We keep pretty busy. I think I said that before, but there's a project. That's that's the outrigger I can't get to come out. I haven't gave up on it, but I sure have had to put it off because I fought with that thing. Any suggestions on how to get that out? I've tried everything I could think of. 
I got the other side out and I ran that big old concrete for that I beam through the center there. I put oil in it, I put electrolysis. I come through this side and I can hit it, but I can't move it. Very, very stuck in there. It's rusted. I've been soaking it and heating it. We had the torches inside of it. And power pole, I bent two 3010 power poles. Here's another one. This one I put together. Built, put the seat up there. The controls used to all be down here. You did it from the ground and I got a graph over there. I was going to downsize a little bit and put that on there. Well, this one I used to haul with this bed. Of, actually, this truck I've hauled combines and all kinds of stuff on here. The beaver tail goes to the ground. It's got this big old winch on there, right there, which I had to move back. Because I decided I was going to put this crane on there, so I moved the winch back two and a half feet. It runs really good. It's a diesel. A lot, of, a lot of good junk around, but yep. Walk up to the house and upload this video. Been working on the other building, did get the power on over there, and I was working over there yesterday. But our scrap is a priority. We get some calls, we usually get over and get the scrap. Sometimes we drive away, usually 50 miles is about as far as we go, but it's got to be some pretty good stuff. Usually 50 miles round trip, we get a lot of our stuff. Round trip ain't too bad. And it seems like the colder it gets, the more I get out and work some days. Get in the garage and get... Usually I get the garage cleaned out in the winter. Usually. So this lawnmower my buddy built it and it tilts, the bed tilts on it. I stretched it out and that one runs really good. I followed quite a bit of scrap out back with it. So we're getting this area cleaned out. The plan is, I think, to take that car off there and see if I can get that going outside here. Kind of hard to get them in the garage too close to the house. Well, this is a junkin' fool. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up or subscribe. Have a good day. And go find some poor man's gold, copper, or steals the meal, as Scrap Kingdom says. And that's true. But anyway, have a good day. Thanks for watching.